Oh boy. So I got a I got a little carried away this month when it came to the sneaker pickups. So there's a there's a lot of boxes on the floor right behind me, which we're going to be getting into in just a second, including some restock pairs. I managed to hit on some Air Jordans, some Yeezys. As you guys know, September was a pretty big month for sneaker releases, although there are some pairs that did take an L on, <laughs> including the Gundam Nike SBs. But uh, it's okay, it's okay. We still we gotta be we gotta be grateful for the things we did take W's on, am I right? Bunch of sneakers to show you guys for my fall haul in today's video, along with some free stuff I got from some awesome brands you guys probably know and love. And we also have a sponsor for today's video, Almighty Backdoor. Now I'll talk about them more after we show you guys the very first pair in the video, but if you guys are into reselling or are thinking about scaling your resale business, maybe opening up a store and securing some more inventory, you guys will wanna hear our message from them because they are going to be restocking their membership keys this Saturday, October 2nd, at 5 p.m. Eastern. So for our very first pair, I'm really excited for this because this is an Air Jordan restock, which I took an L on at the original release. This is a pair that a lot of people love the colorway of on a different retro Jordan, but this is the very first time they released this retro Jordan in this particular colorway. So I'm hyped for this one. Uh, so, so happy I caught wind of this restock because they had like a full size run of these sneakers still sitting on their website when I went to check these out. This is probably going to be one of those Jordans I wear a lot this fall season. And I'd love to get your thoughts and opinions on any of the sneakers that I showcased you guys in today's video. Simple Jordan box right here. You guys might know what model this is based off of the actual box itself but let's just pop open this lid and bam Ooh, wow oh yes 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 bam these are the air jordan 6 bordeaux that sounds so weird to say because the bordeaux is a colorway that is synonymous with the air jordan 7 they've literally never done a bordeaux on any other retro jordan so i think they did a really good job taking that colorway and implementing it on the jordan 6. this is a new sneaker but it has a very familiar feel to it and i'm not really a big fan of sevens myself so this jordan 6 is a no-brainer and it has these like fall kind of colors that work really well well, we got burgundy, we got brown, we got this charcoal gray. And best of all is that sole. That sole that is usually really icy on the six is like this gray tint. So I'm not really worried about these yellowing. And I think it would have looked weird if they did go for an icy blue sole. And shout out to you guys on Instagram who ended up getting a pair as well because I did put these on my story as soon as I found out about the restock. So if you managed to hit on these, congrats. And uh, yeah, another reason for you to follow me on Instagram, it's at SneakerTalksCA. I'm gonna start getting more active on there very soon. Now, before we dive into the next pair of sneakers from this haul, I got to give a huge shout out to the homies over at Almighty Backdoor because they are doing a big membership key restock this Saturday that a lot of people are anticipating. Now, Almighty Backdoor isn't for every single sneakerhead out there. It's really meant for those sneakerheads who are into reselling sneakers and other dope goods at a more intermediate and expert level. So if you're a sneakerhead who just buys a pair every now and then, it might not be for you. But if you're a reseller, that's where the value is. You're going to really maximize the value out of a membership if you are flipping stuff on a continuous basis. So if you're a reseller who's been doing it for a minute, maybe you want more plugs, more access, more pairs in your inventory, then this is a Discord group that is dedicated just for people like you. Almighty Backdoor has a ton of connections with many, many, many retailers in the sneaker world, along with luxury fashion and streetwear clothing. Almighty Backdoor also directly works with these sneaker stores, clothing stores, and distribution chains, which means they have the ability to offer you the best prices possible on bulk orders and custom bulk orders. They also work directly with clothing stores, sneaker stores and distribution chains, which means they have the ability to give you the best prices possible on bulk orders and custom bulk orders. Also, if you're passionate about reselling other things outside of sneakers and streetwear, they also have access to stores that have sports cards, Apple products under retail, and they also have a wholesale account with Pokemon as well, which means you don't have to struggle to find pre-order places for Pokemon cards. You can get it directly from them in bulk. Some extra bonuses that I really like about Almighty Backdoor is they also do live Q&As and lectures session. So if you wanted to get some extra advice, maybe some strategies on reselling and how to scale up your business, they have those available to you, which is really, really useful if you're just getting into the game or you needed some direction on where to go when it comes to reselling. And of course, you have the standard things like ACOs and monitors. So you're going to be able to flip things easily from the comfort of your own house and not have to worry about missing out on the latest drop. So if you're serious about scaling up your resale business game, make sure you guys check out the description down below for all 
almighty back door. And uh, hopefully you guys can cop a membership key if you try this weekend. With that said, let's open up a ton more boxes and show you guys a ton more sneakers. This is a Yeezy restock right here in Canada. They actually restocked a bunch of different Yeezys that gave, uh, yeah, they gave like member exclusive access to people on the Adidas app. They also restocked a bunch of Yeezy foam runners, but unfortunately I took some L's on those. So hopefully I can end up with a pair in the future. But for now, we ended up with a different pair of Yeezys right here. And uh, I hope they do more restocks like this in the future for the foam runners and stuff like that. It's just really nice because you just get a notification on your phone and you enter the raffle and that's that's all there is to it, which is really, really clutch. So let's pull this out of the box. And this is a pair of Yeezys I actually used to have, but the sizing was just too small. Adidas sent over a size 9.5 and they were just fitting a little bit too snug. So I'm really glad that I managed to secure these in my proper size for this particular model. They're a pair of Yeezy Boost 700s. As you can tell by this box, we'll slide it out and see if the box farts. Oh, no, no fart today. <laughs> Usually the 350 box farts. I will take out the paper and bam. These are the Move Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 V2. And wow, these are these are gonna be perfect for the fall season as well. Just look at these things. Earth Tone sneakers are something I think you should have in your rotation when it comes to your fall sneaker rotation. And when it comes to the Yeezy 700 V2, if you guys have worn this sneaker before, you know just how comfortable these bad boys are. Like these are probably, yeah, these are, I gotta say these are more comfortable than the Yeezy 350 V2 line. And let me know in the comment section down below if you ended up getting a W on the recent Yeezy restocks. I know there was a ton of them, including the whole Yeezy day as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you struck a W on any of the recent Yeezys. With that said, let's get to the next pick. Red box. This is not a box we're used to seeing on the channel. And this was actually sent over from the fun, awesome people over at KFC. This is just a random gift they sent over, but I, I knew I wanted to show them to you guys. We got the KFC slides right here. I'm really hoping that my dog doesn't chew these up and, and steal them because usually my dog likes to steal socks and sandals. And I'm sure some of you guys out there also have no idea where your socks are because your dog probably steals them all. So yeah, we got the KFC Colonel sandals right here. Really dope and exclusive. I don't think these were actually available to the public at all. And then we also have a uh, KFC sweater as well, which is just really random. It's, it's really random. It's their like attempt at streetwear. It's actually a genuine attempt at some KFC streetwear apparel. Now, it's not as hyped up as say, the McDonald's and Travis Scott collaboration, but hey, it's still dope. Next up is a box from the people over at Puma. So this was actually sent to my old address uh, downtown. They have a note in here that says, Christian, stay comfy this fall, signed Puma. The Puma Scuff Slipper. What a strange name for a slipper. My KFC slippers have some competition, but the box is really, really light, and I've never owned a pair of Puma slippers before, so. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they look cozy. These look like they're gonna be cozy and heavy duty. Now, they're not as hyped up as Yeezy Foam Runners, but I think these might be a lot more practical for in the house because it's just how cozy they look. It kind of has that like puffer winter jacket like you're used to seeing. I wonder if I can like wear these outside and they'll keep my feet warm uh, come the snow season because you know how you know how cold it gets when it comes to the winter season in Canada. But yeah, Puma sent over some slides. So shout out to Puma for the slide. Next up is a pair from uh, Adidas. So shout out to the friends over at Adidas for this. And I also have a box from Nike that came in as well. So I'll show you guys the pair from Nike. Those I picked up myself from the website. I'm not sure if it was a restock or not, but let's just open up this Adidas box real quick. It's been sitting in my house for at least two weeks now. So they have a little uh, Adidas forum card in here as well that reads forum modern of varsity. So that's the probably particular model. Not the kind of packaging we're used to seeing. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Adidas sent these to me when it was like that peak crate challenge season. You guys know the you, you guys know what I'm talking about. The crate challenge where they would stack up and people would basically like break their ankles trying to climb the crates. Bruh. Um but we have an Adidas branded crate. Yeah, that's actually dope. An Adidas branded crate right here. I feel bad that I didn't open this up earlier because I think they did send this to me when it was uh the crate trend was super viral. So I'll have to show them some love later on. But here we have them. Oh 
So they're a pair of low top forums. I'm so used to seeing this silhouette in the mid top or high top version. And they actually have some really clean colorways. I haven't really seen too many of these in person uh, when I go to like stores like the Adidas store. So pretty dope colorway, the red, the black, the yellow, and the white. So we got some Adidas branding, the little trefoil logo right there on the side. Thank you Adidas for sending these over. Final pair right here from Nike. I know a lot of people complained about their uh, packages getting robbed and, and stolen from in America with their FedEx packages. And I think like the Travis Scott's getting stolen. Get, 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 yeah, getting stolen. Yeah, that's the pair, right? The Travis Scott one Lowe's. But yeah, a lot of people got finessed. In Canada, we don't really have that issue. At least at least I haven't had that issue, thankfully. Uh, but they do make the box. It's pretty obvious that it is Nike stuff inside. But I think Nike had to go and change how they do their packaging because it was just so bad when it came to uh, all the all the package thieves out there. So here we go. Oh, so we got two pairs of Jordans in here. I completely forgot what these are. Uh, I ordered these a while ago and they finally, finally showed up. So let's open up this box right here. The very first pair here is a size 10. And these are pairs I won't be keeping in my collection. These are strictly for review. Like a lot of pairs I've been buying recently because I just, it's just, just so much pairs out there. I can't wear everything. So this is the very first pair. These are the Denim Air Jordan 1 Mids. And this is actually a pretty controversial sneaker because it takes a lot, like a lot, when I say a lot, I mean insanely heavy inspiration from the Levi's Jordan 1s that they did a long, long time ago. We got suede for all the red accents on the shoe. And then you have this denim material as well on the toe box, on the side panel, and on the collar. And that sort of like beige, you guys know the beige color that's on the back tabs of like Levi's denim. That's where this color comes from. And I'm just really surprised that Jordan brand went ahead and like kind of ripped off their own silhouette. And I mean, they've done collaborations with Levi's in the past on like the Jordan 4 and a few different colorways. So I'm really surprised they didn't just retro the Jordan 1 that they did before or make a new colorway. Um, so I kind of feel like this was a slap in the face to Levi's to release the shoe in such a very similar colorway and color blocking as well. And if you guys didn't know, I have actually heard some rumors of a Jordan 1 high denim coming out very soon as well. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for some sneaker news. I'm gonna get back on the sneaker news grind. The other pair right here, which is a size 12. So it's gonna be way too big for me. I can tell you that much. But uh, this is a pair that is probably gonna be more liked. I, I don't know. I'm not sure which pair you guys are gonna like more, but this is the other pair. We have the Jordan 1 Low Denim. And instead of the uh, suede or Nubuck, actually this is, yeah, this pair uses Nubuck while this pair uses suede. That's very strange. So you got red suede on the mids, but when it comes to the lows, they use blue, like a dark navy blue nubuck. And then you have this tan color with the red contrast stitching. Now you can rock a full Canadian tuxedo with some Jordan 1 lows. I'm actually really surprised it took so long for a Jordan 1 low denim to come out, especially since the Jordan 1 low has had so much hype earlier this year and even the last couple of years. But hey, it's about time they finally did it. And I actually have like some fake pairs of sneakers from Green Hills in the Philippines, which I bargained for. I'll leave my Philippine bargaining playlist linked down below. We bought some fake denim mids uh, in the past, which never released as a real pair. So it'll be fun comparing the fake pairs versus these real authentic pairs. So yeah, that is the last two pairs in the video. Comment down below if you want to talk about these denim Jordan ones, if you guys like the mids or the lows. And of course I gotta give a huge shout out to Almighty Backdoor for sponsoring this video. Check them out, I'll leave them linked down below. They're restocking their membership keys on Saturday, October 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern or 2 p.m. Pacific time. If you're a reseller out there, wanna take reselling a little more seriously and uh, scale up your business, they got you covered. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.